you're looking to develop your program, if you're looking to take what you've learned in your life and what you're seeing around you and a need that you see around you and put it into a tangible form that people can use, then you are gonna love what I have coming up. But let me finish telling you the story. So I, it was 2006, I had all of this information. I knew that just teaching regular one-to-one -one yoga classes wasn't working for me anymore. And so I put together a, and I knew that I needed more yoga teachers for my, for my studio. So I put together what is now the six personal power zone methodology and I framed it to yoga and yogic lifestyle and that training. And I called it divine and nine. And I began taking my students right through this divine and nine series. Hey, Sonia, this divine and nine series. And, and it was, it was a growth and process. That's when I wrote my very first workbooks. Now, mind you, at this time, I really believed that there was no way I was ever going to learn how to spell. I really believed that I could not communicate. I was underneath the influence of years and years and years of ridicule. I knew how to, oh my gosh, I just had a breakthrough to write this down. I knew how to accept love how love comes comes to me came to me was through ridicule and rejection yeah so i had little to no belief in me being able to effectively teach and package and bless people with what I literally had walked through, died in, and was resurrected from. Okay, the six personal power zone methodology. Now, I'm 31, 32 years old. I am, oh yeah, I was totally 31 because I just had my daughter who's now 13. So I was 31 years old. I have all of this stuff, a lot of the healing, the spiritual healing that I have now crossed over, I had not crossed over yet. I had all of these questions and yet at the same time, I had this wealth of knowledge and concrete facts that the yoga and the nutrition and the mindset work and the breaking out of your own box and resetting your nervous system, which is what that first program did and does for people, right? It's now a section, a part of the Amazing You program. I, I knew how effective it was. I began taking clients through it 10 people at a time, seven to 10 people at a time in a group fashion. And I did this for years. And then I had my yoga teacher training. So I had a small group of people coming in to learn how to um, teach this. So I had to write. I had to put together an effective program that, that worked. And I had all of my own negativity, my own self-doubt, my own um, proving to myself that I was going through. When you are putting together a program, when you're putting together your life's work, when you're putting together um, something that you believe in, but you don't know how to explain to the world yet, it's really, really common. I, I haven't actually met one entrepreneur and I've been in countless trainings with m multitudes of people. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people. Well, maybe not hundreds of thousands, but definitely thousands of thousands of people. I've been in trainings with them over the years that we all walk through this I don't believe in it, this self-doubt, this is it true, this am I a fraud, all of this is natural. So having that support around you when you're formulating your programs, when you're forming that, where somebody knows that this is the natural process of questioning yourself, of wanting to make sure what you put out into the world is of utmost um, service to your community, 
getting used to this process because I still go through it today is normal. Now for me in 2006, I didn't have anybody around me. I, I literally hadn't heard of coaching before. I had been a coach in the right of nutrition and yoga therapy and private sessions for a number of years by then, but I hadn't heard of coaching in the way that I do it now. It was not an option. And I had never known anybody besides a really good friend at Sun Yoga down in um, Dallas that she had put together a yoga teacher training before. So I kind of talked to her about that a bit. But other than that, I didn't know anybody. And I didn't talk to her about these innermost shame and what if I fuck up and I just wanted somebody to understand what I was saying. I wanted somebody to look beyond what they wanted to ridicule and reject and, and see the genius. See how my clients stood in front of the camera and time after time after time again said how amazing the Divine and Nine program was, how life changing it was for them. I wanted that to be the core and somebody to just say, okay, let me help you hash this out and get this out. I wanted somebody to accept me as human and not try to fix me. So let's fast forward a little while. I put my program out into the world and in 2010 I hire my first coach and I go through my first coaching certification program um, which by the way I didn't complete I did not complete my first coaching certification program I was already a nutritionalist I figured I just wanted to teach the yoga I was already certified as a teacher of teachers of yoga right and um, and that was where I wanted to be at the time. So I didn't finish this, but I was in this year long, amazing program. And we talked about the things that had been, that I had been bumping up against for the previous five years, five years in business, putting out my program. Okay. My from the heart life life affirming life calling program ripped me apart and it does most people so if you're saying yes i want to put together a program yes i have so much to teach and and yes then then just know that having you having yourself surrounded by people who have been there who have done it is going to save you those 5 years so in 2010, I found um, this wonderful coach. Here is where my heart and my story and my mission got completely jacked up, completely jacked up. And, and if there's anything that you take away from today's live, um, even if you don't join me for the Empire Builder and if putting together programs isn't for you. If there's anything that you take away from today's live, please take this away. So this literally is $15,000 worth of coaching right here for this piece. Your story, your pain point that everybody talks about being your main selling point in my opinion, is a bunch of hooey. It took me another five years to recover because my mission to end the cycle of abuse that ties into why I started on this path of personal development, why I started teaching yoga, why I started learning about energy anatomy, why I became I got all of these experts, got all of these things, why I got all of this information, 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 all of it, my story is focused on the exact thing I didn't want to focus on. And if you're a heart-centered entrepreneur, which I'm just trusting that if you're listening to this, you are a heart-centered entrepreneur, then you are here to create a program that is going to get people out of the dark 
not into the dark. I did not need to go through and tell my friggin' story again. Vulnerability, yes. Tell people what I'd been through, yes, right? Um, explain how the six personal power zones came to be. So I developed trust and community and we have this relationship, yes, right? So it's not about being unaware of your story. It's not about being unaware of why you started all of this in the first place. But my story and my message are two completely different things. So for that coach to tell me a couple things, she told me about the pain points and everyone was talking about the pain points. I later went and studied with a whole bunch of other people that talked about the pain points. So I kept talking about the pain points, which kept leading me to the amazing and wonderful people because that's where I was when I was in my pain point. Really, you might listen to that a couple times. So for marketing purposes, knowing that the person that you're talking to might have had a similar pain point for you is important. But everything else about your program is about the light that you're shining into the world, is about what you learned, the journey that you individually got to go on to, to heal, to overcome, to accept, to love yourself, to grow from. So when the, we go into how to develop your program at and how to market it at your own university in the Empire program, if you choose to join me, I'm not going to be going at it like any other coach. And the main reason why is because I had invested over $150,000 working with coaches that didn't get me there because they were focusing on pain points that was my truth, my story, that had nothing to do with the actual mission and message of my genius. So we're gonna be looking at your genius Deciphering through the truths, the blocks, the limitations and stuff that might block you from sharing your genius from old limiting belief systems from your past. And we're going to generate together your program. And that's what this next move, that's what this program that is, the doors are open right now, they're gonna close this week. If you want the information about it, come and join me. I have just, there's so many wonderful people that went through this program when it was opened last. And we've had people develop whole programs on, um, uh, thank you, Lynn. We've had people develop whole programs on manifesting money and from the program write incredible books and be part of other book programs and speak on stage and develop that whole package, the empire package of program speaking and writing. I'm going to share with you my story, right, about how I got into speaking and why and why I don't want you to do it that way. Because in all honesty, I don't want you to create a program alone, needing to feel with the feeling that you need to prove anything to anybody. I don't want you to write a program thinking that you're not gonna go through times of, of fear and, and rejection even of yourself and the program and self-doubt and, and questioning your entire reality and feeling like a failure, feeling like a, um, a fraud. Those are all normal, 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 normal journey, journeying when you're developing your own business, when you're developing your own brand, and especially when you're developing your own heart-centered program that's gonna burst into the world. It just is that way. 
Your program is something that is unique to you. So you are going, it's going to help you grow. It's going to help you step deeper into you. And that's why as the trauma transformer, I'm not teaching you all this stuff about grow your business, right? I'm teaching you how to grow your impact, to step into your purity, to step into your essence, your true essence, to step into you. Because that's what I do. That's my genius. I see through things. My story has allowed me to relate to people in such a way in my my empathic and psychic skills and intuition has allowed me to do that for people that helps you break through barriers that you might what you might otherwise have been blocked i'm also going to um help you kind of pick your own route because i've taken all these courses and i've done all these things and some things just didn't work for me, but they were the cookie cutter things, right? And and other things did work for me, but they might not work for you. So there's a lot of different options and all of that is in the Empire book. It's in the, the material that you're gonna go through. It's in, we're gonna be discussing it and hashing it out through the live videos. This program is gonna be so in depth in you creating a program that speaks to you and then you expecting and knowing how to manage and have the tools to manage and grow from the journey of putting your heart's work out into the world. Your program is going to bless people in ways that you can't even imagine. But first it blesses you. It blesses you to choose your life, to choose your mission, to choose your path. So I'm not going to offer you some cookie cutter thing. I'm not going to offer you some this is how you put your friggin' program together solution. No, I'm going to take your hand and I'm going to help you see past the wall that we all have, the wall of illusion, the wall of our own understanding, not into the pain point, but get out of your pain point and see what you're really offering, what hope you're offering. Now, if this sounds good to you, if this is what you want, there's limited space because I want to hold everybody's hand. It's going to be a dynamic group. It's going to start next week. Just message me and I'll give you the information on how to sign up for the next Empire Builder Rising Star Program.